Hey guys, Evan here. Um, putting together my uh, small pressure washer trailer, and uh, I figured I'd do this quick little video uh, just to show the pieces that I put together on, on how I'm connecting the tank to the pressure washer um, because I didn't really find much on YouTube or anything about this, so I'm, I'm hoping this might help somebody else in the future. So what I'm gonna show you here is this is the, so here is the buffer tank, and this is the um, outlet at the bottom here with a little banjo fitting that came with the tank. Um, I got this from Harbor Freight. I think it was about maybe 80 bucks. Um, so I have basically one inch out with a little PVC elbow, uh, threaded, of course. So the threaded's gonna go into here. Excuse me, I'm trying to do everything one-handed. All right, so thread it out. Now I have um, an inline one inch um, filter. Uh, make sure you have your arrow going the right way for the flow. That's next. Of course, I'm gonna when I'm per permanently uh, securing this. I'm gonna use <clears throat> I'm gonna use some uh, Teflon tape here. So then I have a little um, double-sided um, connection here for one inch to go into the ball valve. That's next. And then I have uh, one inch to um, three-quarter inch uh, barb uh, threaded connector. It's going to go on the other side of the ball valve. This is going to connect to my three quarter inch hose. All right, and that's going to get connected there to hose clamps. And then the hose is going to come out to the other side and it's going to get it's going to get a, um, a brass barb uh, in the one side. And then it's going to get a um, <clears throat> an adapter here to go to mail. Okay, and then that'll go into the pressure washer. And of course, you're going to clamp this off as well uh, when I put it in there properly. So that'll run right to the pressure washer. So for the top, for my feed, or excuse me, for my uh, my fill line here. Um, I'm going to use the <clears throat> Hudson Flow Valve, one inch. Okay, here it is. Um, I already bought a uh, couple of, uh, this is actually bigger than one inch, I think this is like inch and a quarter, um, coupler here to go into the bottom of the Hudson Flow Valve. And then this will go into the tank. and. This is all reverse thread. Okay, so this will come up. I'm gonna have to, you know, obviously use a hole saw uh, to the proper size, and then this will come up. I'm gonna put it on the opposite side of where my feet is to reduce cavitation or air bubbles um, to feed my pressure washer. So this side has my feed, that side's going to get my float valve over here. So now you have a float valve. So picture this being connected into your... All right, so since we since our float valve um, inlet is actually inch and three quarter, I have uh, inch and three quarter to one inch um, adapter here. I guess I should say collar. <clears throat> so that goes in here. And you go down to your one inch. Okay, so now this will be sticking out of the top. Um, so then what I have is, so now I have my one inch to um, uh, three quarter inch barb. Alright, 
So this will be sticking out of the tank. And then this is gonna get um, hose on the one side. Just like that. Okay. Now on the other side of the hose, this picture, I'm not gonna cut it yet, so. Picture that hose coming out of the side. This is just a regular uh, garden hose filter. Um, so this is gonna be in line for the inlet side. Again, make sure your arrow faces the proper way. So you wanna make sure the arrow is facing the tank in this instance because this is what's feeding the tank. Um, and then for this one, you wanna make sure whatever arrow is on the side here is going in the direction of the pressure washer. So then you're gonna have your adapter and that's gonna go right into the one side of your inline filter. Um, and of course it's gonna be in the direction towards the tank. So then the other side coming out, or I should say going in, is gonna be your feed from your garden hose. All right, so this is how the feed line uh, looks all put together uh, with Teflon tape and everything. So there's your one inch out uh, to your inline uh, filter to your ball valve, to the one inch barb, uh, down to three quarter inch reduction. And then that barb is going to go into this three quarter inch tube. And that's gonna get hose clamped and then the tube's gonna run to the um, hose fitting adapter to the other side and that's gonna get directly screwed right into the uh, pressure washer feed line. Uh, and that should adequately give me plenty of um, plenty of feed. Uh, I tested it. I think it puts out about five and a half, almost six gallons per minute. Uh, so that's plenty for a four gallon per minute unit. All right, so this gives you an idea of how my uh, inlet hose uh, into the tank is going to look uh, all connected. So there is my float valve up to my banjo that's going to be attached to my tank and then my banjo to my right angle. Um, and then that's gonna go into my one inch hose line into one side of my inline filter. Um, and then the other side of the inline filter is gonna be the inlet for the water hose. I don't have a hose reel yet for, um, for my actual inlet hose. I do have a hose reel for my high pressure, but I don't for this. So as of right now, I'm gonna leave it open like this so I can just attach you know, my 150 foot of hose that I have um, to that side for the inlet. So it's filtering it and it's also gonna shut it off when the water is uh, full in the tank. So this is kind of how it looks afterwards and I'll give you guys another update when it's actually in the tank.